thank you for coming back. The channel's name is Speculative Magpie, and my name is Misty, and we're here to do some book reviews. Well, novelette reviews. I have two novelettes to review, and I decided to do them all in one video. Seems easier that way. So the two novelettes I'm going to review are Peeler by Gord Rollo and The Thing in the Ward by Nicholas Gray. Now, I don't normally buy novelettes, basically short stories, I guess, in print form, but one, I definitely wanted to read Peeler because Gord Rollo's like one of my new authors I follow. And Nicholas Gray is a person I watch on YouTube and I really enjoy his like booktube channel. So I decided that I wanted to read his book and it came in print form, which I thought would just be better for me than reading it on Kindle. So I'm gonna read you the synopsis and talk about them and that's what we're gonna do. So let's start off with The Thing in the War Ward by Nicholas Gray. And the synopsis is, Gavin has cancer, which sucks. He's run out of options and must try a trial drug in order to fight it off. He's willed into the ward and starts his treatment of dunosine. But what Gavin doesn't know is there is something else in the ward with him, and that thing is hungry. So this is short story about 33 pages um the last page is basically his author bio um i really enjoyed this um the thing with this book is i guess because the last half was so action-packed it didn't seem as long as the first half i mean once the action started it just sort of like rolled on so basically the first couple pages you'll learn a lot about Gavin and what he's been through and he's had a pretty rough life and um when he develops cancer and basically you know he's all out of options and he figures why not let's go um try this experimental drug and when they roll in the medicine, I was like, oh, Gavin, get up. Don't, don't let them put that in you. <laughs> that was like, no, but, you know, I guess once you're, um, at the end, there's really not much you won't do to try to stave off death. And once the action really started happening, like I said, it just went so quick. I mean, Gavin has the the medicine put in him. The, the crazy guy across the hallway gets loose and it just goes on from there. Probably, um, you know, when Gavin is willed into the, the experimental medicine wing of the cancer ward and just the few sentences that Nicholas describes the crazy guy I was like why are you there dude just get out <laughs> but you know that would make for a good story you know so but yeah this was this was a lot of fun I enjoyed it um probably a, a three three point five out of five stars um definitely Pick this up if you want just a fun, kooky little read. This wasn't expensive. I think it for the print version, it was like four bucks. And it's kind of neat to have a little short story that you can pull out and read whenever you want to. Um, now let's talk about Peeler by Gord Rollo. I'll read you the synopsis for this one. All right, I think I've already read it, but you know, you might not watch that video. Randy Baxter is an aspiring chef who dreams of better days ahead. He's come to work as part of the kitchen staff at Asbury Creek Asylum, a federally funded institution for the criminally insane. 
Randy's not crazy, but he does harbor a past filled with psychological issues, including the need to cut himself to make the memories of his abusive childhood go away. When he learns about a man they call Peeler, a long-term resident at Ashbury, who has a severe problem with self-mutilation, all of Rand Randy's anxieties start to rise to the surface. Determined to overcome his inner demons once and for all, he manipulates a face-to-face -face meeting with Peeler, but as with all things, there's a price to pay. To see one of the most violent, disturbed men ever to be imprisoned in the maxim maximum security asylum, Randy must bring Peeler a small gift, something no one in their right mind would ever think of giving him, a shiny new razor blade. This book actually had a lot of similarities with um, The Thing in the war Ward. And I bought them at two completely separate times. They all deal with young men going through a rough time. Now, Randy is, he's not down on his luck. He's, he's an addict that, over, that has overcome drugs and the self-mutilation. He stopped doing the cutting. But once he finds out about Peeler, it's like all those old desires start coming up again. And the reason why he wants to talk to Peeler is because this is his addiction taken to the extreme and he wants to find out why Peeler does this. And there's a reason for reason Peeler does it, but it's not for the reason Randy does it. Randy does it to deal with his psychological and physical abuse that he dealt with as a child where Peeler is doing it for this weird, insane, like kind of almost supernatural reason. And how he facilitates the meeting is Peeler actually has a friend. And this friend is like the go-between between, between Randy and Peeler. And so he gets Randy into the basement and they get locked in this room. And once Randy hands over that razor, just horrible stuff happens. The first half of this story was really not that bad. It was just Randy kind of dealing with his own personal demons and how he was going to get in to meet Peeler. The second half, again, kind of like this one, really ramps up the action. It didn't felt like it didn't take me long at all to get to the basically meat and bones, pun intended, of this book. And it was just really wild. And the end part between Peeler, Randy, and the friend, um, Lucas, was just, just vile. <laughs> it was pretty vile. And, um, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying Gord Rolo's um, writing. Yeah, I know I said some kind of mean things about Crimson, but so far, two out of the three books I've read has been really worth it and really piled on the, the horror factor. This one probably took me about an hour to read. Um, the Thing in the war Ward, probably about... 30 minutes. Um, I read this one at work, so that's why it took me a little longer. I This one, four stars, four out of five. This was really good, really twisted, and I enjoyed it immensely. So I am a convert. I am down for buying more novelettes. Um, I love short stories, and I like the fact that I now have short stories individually on my bookshelf. So yeah, um, that's it for today. Um, Hope you enjoyed this little um, book review, and I'll see you soon with some graphic novel reviews. And thank you for coming so we could talk about books and things, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.